We welcome you in, fans, to the Power of Pro Arena, Pro Wrestling Mid-South. My name is Joe Dombrowski, as this incredible feature matchup is a heartbeat or two away from being underway. Greg Anthony, one-on-one uh, -on -one with Chase Owens. Uh, it's Chase Owens in the foreground, Anthony in the far corner, as two gentlemen with roots that are steeped in tradition who have traveled similar paths at first. Uh, went in very divergent directions in the years that followed. We are officially underway. It is uh, Greg Anthony, many would say the best athlete to come out of West Tennessee in this era. Chase Owens, perhaps the best out of East Tennessee. Both men showing that respect. They've known each other many years. Owens a 16-year veteran, Anthony 22. And while they both started of humble beginnings as they go collar and elbow, it is Anthony who has really held down the fort as the man to beat in the state of Tennessee that so many athletes either starting in this part of the country or nationally or internationally known stars who've come in from the outside, they realize that if you want to make a name for yourself in this part of the country, Greg Anthony is the guy to beat. And it's much easier said than done to get a clean break in the early going between the Golden Boy and a Bullet Club member. If you don't follow New Japan Pro Wrestling, perhaps you've seen some of the Bullet Club merchandise that's been sold and Everywhere from internet wrestling websites to shopping malls. And uh, has been the talk of the wrestling industry for many years. Men like the Young Bucks, AJ Styles, Adam Cole, have been members of the Bullet Club. Polarizing, controversial figures. Chase Owens fits that mold. Both men break again, center ring, Owens. Looked like he had the advantage for a moment, but a great uh, defensive counter by Anthony. Here in your CNC Pharmacy, main event of the evening, here in Ripley, Tennessee. Now Chase Owens realizes that he is in a manner of speaking the away team in this contest. These fans have watched and supported Greg Anthony through so much. So many perils, tumultuous battles. Chase Owens may have been a while since some of these fans have seen him. Tours of Japan as uh, Owens comes down across the arm. You heard the ring announcer mention that Owens is one half of the IWGP Tag Team Champions. That is referencing New Japan Pro Wrestling. International World Grand Prix is what the letters stand for. It is the top Heavyweight tag team title in Japan. Chase Owens holds it along with Bad Luck Fale. And only been champion for a few weeks now. But it means a lot to have gold in uh, what some would say is, is indisputably the hottest wrestling promotion anywhere in the world. I would expect that Owens will be part of uh, that big super card at the United Center in Chicago that is already sold out. That shows you the prestige that's attached to being a New Japan Pro Wrestling star. And Owens has had it since day one. He's been trained and born and bred for success, trained by the legendary Rock and Roll Express member and Hall of Famer Ricky Morton. You can't build that big house unless you've got a very sturdy foundation. Owens has that. Anthony tries to cinch in the side headlock and hits the shoulder tackle. Anthony, what do they weight advantage, I would surmise, and using that power to barrel through Chase Owens multiple times over. And Anthony's done a great job at making sure Chase Owens has been off his game. Obviously, no Bullet Club members are here. There's been uh, no chance for psychological tactics from Chase Owens. 
Golden Boy has had things uh, by and large to his liking. But Owens uh, himself, very crafty. And uh, when you hang around the likes that Owens does, you can have a questionable moral fiber, let's say. And that he wants the handshake, and to my point, you can sense that frustration building as Chase Owens, willing to shake the hand of Anthony at the outset of this contest, just sucker punched Anthony, took that cheap shot, and as soon as Owens realized he wasn't gonna be able to get an advantage the old fashioned way, man, Owens got, I'm not sure if I wanna say desperate, but Owens certainly uh, didn't waste any time lowering himself to take the advantage. And it's Owens now digging and scratching and clawing, whatever he can do. You can almost feel it coming. Owens now targets the kidneys. And I was ready to give Owens the benefit of the doubt had he wrestled this matchup straight up and maybe not demonstrated any of that bullet club like quality, but you knew, you knew it was, uh, you knew it was in the playing field whether it happened or not as Anthony hit very, very hard into that turnbuckle bounced off the whiplash-like effect, and, and I guarantee that padding in the corner is not gonna do much of anything to uh, lessen the impact of steel when you're sent into it that hard. The steel will not move. Your body will absorb all of that impact as Chase Owens looking to press the advantage but Craig Anthony. A series of knife edge chops. Owens is trying to grab a headlock, shut him down. Looks like he's done that at least for the moment. Hip lock and a counter. Anthony was going for the hip lock takeover and Owens came across with that hard clothesline. And Anthony has a move. There's a cover two count only on the lateral press here in this first time ever meeting between two of the most prolific names in Tennessee wrestling in the past two decades. As Owens now a methodical, measured, meticulous and calculated approach. Ray Anthony certainly has his fans here, but uh, Chase Owens, the kid that started here in Tennessee, would have appreciated and respected that. But the man we see today has some very unkind comments for these fans. There's the cover for two. Anthony in a bad way right now. But, man, Chase Owens, a little more disrespectful, a little more rebellious, a little bit more desperate to win than perhaps uh, many of his peers and fans had remembered from many years ago. Owen cinches in, almost a variation of a, of a Campbell clutch, but changes it around and almost fish hooking the mouth of Anthony. That is not legal. Referee demands a break, justifiably so. Oh, I think Owens is looking for insult as well as injury. He's trying to make a statement here as Owens, as Anthony looked to battle back. Owens has a, is a master of sensing that pendulum swing. Shut it down again, and that entire ring just rocks with the velocity Anthony sent into that corner and Chase Owens. Went to follow through with all of his weight. And you can see where that steel bolt wound up. That turnbuckle in a most precarious location as Chase Owens now finds himself in a most disadvantageous position as the Golden Boy. 
has a moment or two reprieve to shake the cobwebs and perhaps get back into this thing. Referee's count is at five. Thankfully, it does not reach 10. This matchup presses on. These fans want to see a winner. Certainly a, a personality clash, a morality clash, as Owens and Anthony back and forth with Pistol Cups. Anthony the advantage. Owens able to shut it down with a sleeper hold. Tried and true, time tested. Owens looking to maneuver Anthony down flat on his back. So he'll go 99. And this match will be over. Chance of Golden Boy ringing out as Owens all over the ropes. Come on. A very illegal use of leverage. And with Owens' body elevated, he's able to keep his weight more over top of Anthony, apply more pressure downward, and, 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 and certainly more weight down across that, that neck and that throat to put Anthony under. Owens, oh, a second time. The referee is where he needs to be. He's with Anthony checking to make sure he's conscious and make sure he can communicate to see if he'll concede or not. And Owens is taking advantage of that situation. And this arm, it's about to drop a second time once more and Chase Owens has proven dominance. Wait a minute. Greg Anthony, the Golden Boy, still has life. And a sense of bravery and maybe some desperation. Anthony breaks the grip, but Owens back into it only for a moment. The back suplex connects. Anthony came out with a big Hail Mary that time to break the grip of the sleeper hold on a second occasion. And Owens drilled right in the back of his head. And again, Anthony isn't thinking about offense. He's not thinking about victory. He can only think about recovery at a time like this. Anthony just needs to get himself in a position to, to potentially fight back. The count continues and we're at seven. Anthony's to his feet. Owens shortly thereafter, but it's Anthony who's ready to fight as Owens still favoring that neck heavily. Turned right into the ring, Anthony clotheslines, and that back elbow connected to you. And the point of the elbow as well. Shades of the dream by the Golden Boy, who now slingshot suplex, a little tully action. I love it. Into the cover, two count only. Off the lateral press, Greg Anthony is channeling some of the greatest talents in the history of the Mid-Atlantic and, and certainly the world as well. And Chase Owens may not have felt maneuvers quite that expertly executed anywhere he's been throughout New Japan. Anthony, a true student of the game. Owens gets the foot up. And a, a double pull of a hair. Anthony got wrenched down awkwardly and then had that neck wrenched as well. I think Owens is trying to even up for the damage done to his own neck. But Anthony, two very awkward instances of his neck being stretched in, in, in a way that it's just not built to. Anthony back to his feet and Chase Owens digs down deep for that clothesline. Two count only. Owens just measuring Greg Anthony one of the most decorated athletes in this area. Three-time NWA national champion. About to be put, no. He caught the foot, did Anthony, but oh, couldn't prepare for the eye poke. Could not prepare for the eye poke at all. But Anthony switches direction, hits a spear. Incredible physicality. And into the cover. And a, a near fall that time. 
Anthony, we have seen him bust out so much crisp, impactful physical offense. Nine times, Mid-South Unified Heavyweight Champion, a man who's learned under the tree of beautiful Bobby Eaton. They teamed for two years. Anthony appreciates tradition so much. He appreciates this area so much that Midas touch was countered. The Midas touch was countered, that would have been it. And that, that strike combo from Chase Owens again switches the tide. And Anthony is motionless, and that the symbol of the Bullet Club. Chase Owens is sickling. This will be the end. Owens likes to go. Package pile driver. If he hits it, there's no question this match will be over. And Anthony, an incredible ring presence by the veteran, backed up to the ropes and, and back body dropped Owens over. Baseball slide was countered in that. That soccer kick caught uh, Greg Anthony flush and landed in a very bad part of town on the outside as well. No padding, no protection. And I'm not sure, I, I would have to think that carrying this battle on to the outside of the ring would favor the Bullet Club member. Oh, wait a minute. Looking for a suplex. Oh, both these men are, are looking for maybe a hospital run for their opponent. Rather than just the one, two, three, this could be catastrophic. Oh, it's kicking, countering as both men are. A back kick by Chase Owens. Got him a breather. Oh, and Chase Owens! Got set right into the steel rig post. Anthony had elevated Owens and Owens had nowhere to go as his body absorbed that impact. And one half of the New Japan Tag Team Champions may be on the verge of getting counted out. He has been. Chase Owens has just shaken the cobwebs and realized what's happened. He's trying to appeal to the official, and but what's... Out, the Boy, what's done is done. Greg Anthony victorious over a bona fide New Japan Pro Wrestling international superstar. Chase Owens can't take it. Oh, come on now. That's way over the line. Chase Owens, I would gather to think that pretty much the entirety of your paycheck here tonight is gonna go to fines and maybe some legal fees for what you've done to that official just doing his job. Chase Owens knows there's gonna be some shame in the Bullet Club if they find out that Chase Owens came back home to Tennessee in a losing effort. I don't want to hear anything this guy has to say now. Come on, get away from it. I have never been so disrespected in my life. Get what you give, pal. I don't think, I don't think you people realize what a treat you're getting your knife. You're looking. Come on. You're looking at one half of the New Japan IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. You're looking at a guy who is part. No, no, no. I am the backbone. I am the glue of Bullet Club. I keep Bullet Club solid. Bullet Club is the best it's ever been because for six years I've been the new guy. We've got legends like Big Togo. Come on, Greg. Come on, Greg. Fight, Greg. Fight, Greg. Damn!
Hey, with a microphone between the eyes, this match is long since over. You've done enough damage. The best professional wrestler in the world, the Switchblade Jay White. Jay White's not going to help you now. I haven't been in this building. I haven't been in Ripley, Tennessee in 12 years. And there is a good reason. There is two good things you can do here in Ripley, Tennessee, and that is pack your bags and hit the bricks. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Huntsville, Alabama, tomorrow. But before that, go to the boy. I'm going to end your career. Hey, come on. Stop this. What's happened to you? We're packing pole driver counter. Greg Anthony. What? He hits the minus touch! Greg Anthony! A second time with the minus touch! Everything Greg Anthony touches turns to gold, and he's the winner of record tonight in Ripley!